has been a windy weekend to say the least and we're still feeling the effects tonight. Many Coloradans are dealing with a second night without power. XL Energy says it had to shut off power for thousands of customers on Saturday as a matter of public safety. The planned outage impacted about 55,000 customers, but about 100,000 more had their power knocked out by the weather. This is a live look at XL's outage map right now. The company says these areas could be without power at least until tomorrow or even later for smaller areas. Many of you actually called our newsroom frustrated by the outages, so we questioned XL Energy about it again this afternoon. A lot of upset customers say the company did not do enough to communicate what was happening and why. XL leaders admitting to us today they could have done better. I believe we made absolutely the right decision. We have damage on our electric lines. That is due to wind. We have tree limbs. We have tree stumps that have damaged our electric lines. If those lines were energized, that was a risk of a wildfire. We empathize with our customers. We understand that it's frustrating and it's really hard to grapple what it's going to take to restore power to our customers. So so Horvath also told us in the process of restoring power, crews are going to prioritize what she called critical customers, like hospitals and jails, before they move on to smaller blocks of customers. Now, during that news conference this afternoon, a woman from Englewood decided to confront the utility company about power being shut off in her neighborhood. Your reporter, Jasmine Arenas, was also there. She joins us live tonight. Jasmine, was this neighborhood part of the preemptive shutoff, and what did Excel have to say about it? Well, Kelly, the family that lives in this neighborhood tells me that they were not part of the preemptive shutoff, which is why they were surprised to learn this morning that they had no power, which it left them in an unpleasant situation. I've been on the phone for a half an hour trying to talk to somebody. Lisa Duvall is fed up and frustrated, trying to confront XO Energy over what she calls a lack of communication. I got an email at 7.15 this morning, and it is not specific enough. She's among many neighbors upset with the fallout of the weekend windstorm, unable to understand the utility company's outage map. That is lesson number one for us, is that we need to think about how we incorporate an interactive separate map that gives folks, our customers, an opportunity to better understand if they were impacted. For Lisa, her power went out Saturday, but she did not receive any updates until Sunday morning. Now more than 17 hours without power and a fridge full of food on the verge of going bad. They just don't care about us people who rent or on low income or Section 8 housing. I don't feel that they think we're a priority to them. Right now, there is no plan to compensate our customers for anything that they have lost. XL Energy says their crews are repairing damage and restoring service to customers. But that will take time, and it's keeping customers like Lisa on edge. Give us a timeline. If it's like going to be 10 or 12 hours, say that. We would have made preparations for that. Now, Excel Energy does tell us that those customers who did not receive any updates should update their information with the utility company. The company also shares they're happy about this decision that they made, and it may be something they effort again in the future if they're presented with similar weather. I'm live in Denver. Jasmine Arenas covering Colorado First. Kelly. Jasmine, thank you.